Hello and welcome back to France in EU4. We are at war with the Austrian menace. We're going to let a day tick by and then all of their allies are going to join in. We're going to see that we have more than twice as many men as they do in total. So first thing we're going to do is march an army up here. And what we could possibly do with is smashing some leaders into these armies. And then we want to go after, that's Friesland. Friesland is one of their allies, isn't they? Isn't they? Aren't they? Friesland and Saxony. So let's send a guy up there and let's send a guy over here. I'm doing the same thing I did last time and splitting my armies all up. Let's see if it goes better this time, shall we? I'm sure it will. <laughs> Excellent, we're destroying the Papal, fleet, uh, Papal State's fleet. Oh, I can't declare a holy war if I'm at war with the Pope. What do you mean? Why not? Okay, it's a level 6 fort, so we want to use that there. Savoy, you better be able to win this since you just chose this battle. No. No, you cannot. Why, Savoy? Why do you do this to me? Okay, Saxony only has one province of a fort, so let's go straight to that. We can knock Saxony out pretty much straight away, I reckon. In fact, if we throw some mill points at it, we can possibly knock them out very much straight away. What's their defenders? We could almost attack it. I don't really want to assault the fort, though. A lot of the enemy's forces are over here in Savoy, which is good means they're not anywhere important. How's it going fighting Holland over here? We're just currently blockading him. It doesn't look like anyone has intentions of actually moving troops to fight him. Savoy is about to cease to exist, which will be interesting. Because they go- hey, there goes Saxony. We should now be able to go sue for peace. Can I make you my vassal? No, not quite. <laughs> but what I can do is that, and that, and this. Take some of his territory, but it's unnecessary. Let's just knock him out the war. That's a few less men in this war. Um, Next, can I walk around to Silesia's capital? I can. Let's go siege that down. Savoy, stop losing battles, please. You're making a fool of me. Okay. You guys come to Kent. Then get moved across. And then perhaps... I don't know. Where do I want to send these men? I'll just hold them in, like, here in reserve. I don't think... No, no one can get here. There's a line of forts in the way. You go up here and blockade this port, hurry this siege up. Sure, Saxony, you can have military access, I love you. Not in a gay way. Uh, we're still winning the election, which is good. I still have an equally high... I have the equal highest chance to become the next Pope. Oh yeah, that reminds me, we have this mission, become people controller. Let's just ditch that, because we're not going to achieve it, probably. Um, let's blow the walls there. We can knock Silesia out of this. Friesland is down. Friesland, come here. War reps, money, and all your alliance of Austria. Goodbye. Ooh, Florida, tax them. Tax them more. Who needs knocking out next? That's Holland. They are not part of the major war. I would say what we probably want to do next is bring these guys down to join this army. And then go and attempt to fight the Papal State. Okay, no. Uh, Holland, get out of my Mexico. Who said you can go into my Mexico? Uh, 
Okay, you are gonna go down first. And then you are going to follow on. Have they managed to take any forts here? They've taken a level 2 fort in Savoy, but that's all. General died, they've run away. Let's ignore that level 2 fort that's been taken and just go in and start trying to take things back. You need to die, so let's put you in an army. Boats, come and blockade this port. We have too many admin points again. We've got four years till we can tech up. We're at our maximum state limit. What should we do instead? Should we just develop some stuff? Paris. Paris needs developing. There we go. There goes all of our admin points. We didn't need them anyway. Now, Savoy, are you going to give me lots of small crappy armies when I integrate you in a second? That seems like how this is going to go. Ooh, the Papal State is down next to my army in the south. What's he going to do? Hey, nice. Can we get some legitimacy and admin points? He's kind of trapped himself here. If we take this fort now, he's going to be trapped there. That's amazing. How many men are left in this war? About 100,000. And 40,000 of them are Papal State. That's Silesia's only fort, so Silesia's out now. War reps, money. Uh, make Brandenburg stronger. And an early alliance of Austria. Austria's not allowed friends. There we go. Next, might as well start sieging up actual Austrian forts. Can we catch this army? Where's it going? Going to here. It will arrive on the 25th. We'll arrive on the 29th. Um, who's currently in... Well, the guy has one manoeuvre. I can't get somebody with better manoeuvre. Unless I get lucky. Hello. 20... Oh, we still didn't get there before them. Oh, well. Hopefully we'll win anyway. We just put a good general in charge, so. Yeah, it's our victory, unless we roll poorly. Nope, we rolled okay. Move north. Where are my boats when I want them? They're here. You need to go and blockade Rome. Oh, we have two colonists. Oh yeah, they probably got kicked out because Holland has occupied Mexico. It's alright though, because we're currently occupying Holland's territory. My colonial nations have figured out how to do naval invasions and are killing Holland for us. Uh, Mantua is down. Ooh, who's this? Portuguese separatists? What did I do to offend the Portuguese? Where is this? Bajar and Algrave. Luca, okay. Bajar and Algrave. Okay, whatever. Can't harsh treatment them, I don't have enough points. That's annoying. How many are going to spawn? 20,000. Well, we can deal with that. We can just go... Let's make a new template. And let's make them the Rebel Busters. And 20,000 men, 4,000 cav, 10 cannons, there we go. Save. And form up in Madrid. And that will easily take down the Portuguese rebels that spawn. Should have tons of money right now. Maybe I should spend some of it. Any good places to spend the money? Any good... Ooh, two good ones there. I'll take them. That's very good. That one's alright. Nope. Then... They're good. That's very good. Grab the top ones on them. 
Uh, now we're out of money again. Cool. Oh, Luca is down. Perhaps in next move this guy up here. Rome will fall shortly. Who's taking more territory? Anult, put it back. Bad Anult. You're not somebody who's voting for me, are you? No, good. Prestige or a half price trader? I'll take a half price trader. Oh no, we really have a half price guy in Diplo, and I prefer the relations over time guy, so. We will not be taking a half price trader, except we took him anyway, so now he's just going to sit in our pile of junk in the corner of the room that nobody ever touches. Okay, Papal State. I could have you fall apart. That might not even be a bad idea. Because then they won't hate me for taking their territory. What I could instead do is think about where... I'm going to be able to take stuff. Nah, they, don't, they won't do that anyway. Can I, null, I can annul the alliance of Austria. Money in getting rid of Aus the alliance of Austria is enough, I think. Okay, and that left one. You go siege that. You go take that back. And the other two armies are already sieging them down. We can get a mission. A base in India. I do believe this gives me a claim on a place in India. Oh, although Malwa is huge, so I can't see a threat and war happening. Malwa has actually eaten nearly all of India, and I expect if we were to leave them alone, would actually eat all of India. Look at that. That's ridiculous. It's very... I think... It might just be me, but it's quite rare you actually see an Indian nation manage to conquer India that well. In fact, in general, most of the world is just, seems to just be big blobs to me. That aren't, over in the east, there are not that many nations. What did I just take? I wasn't paying nearly enough attention. Ah, the one up here. Go down to Prague. Who is this? Brunswick. Put it back. Not that one. Emperor. Demand territory. Brunswick. Don't ignore me when I tell you to put things back. Put it back. And he says no. What religion are you, Brunswick? Okay, we may or may not wish to attack you. Could we spit some nations out of you? We could. The more nations, the better. There goes Prague, that was quick. Go to Vienna. Uh, three more years on that. How are we looking with Holland's capital? Okay, Antilles is kind of failing. Because they can't move across there. Holland. Release Utrecht. No. Okay. Well, they do actually have a province here now. Do they have a fort in it? No, if it had a fort in it, that would have actually been good. Okay, what can we do to our Austrian friend? We can release Bohemia, excellent. Hungary, I don't want to release. Because it will take some nations, some bits away from us. We can make Styria great again. Styria's capital hasn't ended up outside the HRE, has it? Is it HRE? Yeah, of course it is. Okay. That's that taken. Her Where's another... Have we taken most of the forts at this point? It seems that way. Start occupying their territory. I'd like to make Holland turn into Utrecht here. I need this bit of territory occupied though.
Hey, you took Prague back. Who said you could do that? I dare you to fight my army, Austria. Because I've sent a 3, 4, 5 up there. <laughs> hey, there goes that. We're about to finish integrating Savoy. Ooh, Tyrol. You, go to Tyrol. I need sieging. Vienna. Down. There goes Savoy. Now we need to group up all of his armies and put them somewhere sensible so we can deal with them. You go over there. Why have you got mercenaries, Savoy? How's that put us over force limit? No. Good. Hasn't put us over naval force limit either. What we will want to do actually next, admin tech, we get some more um, states. And we will... Oh, have you... Oh, you are on Miltech 19 now. Okay. Leave a guy there to keep this siege going. Both of you go up there and we will stop this siege. Well done, Austria. You got a tech before everyone else. Nobility want more territory for some reason. Oh, I probably had more territory added in by Savoy joining, didn't I? Eh, nope, they can't have that. Where's a crappy province? Here we go. There you go, nobility. Okay, they run away there. Which one's missing a unit? You go back there. You go over there. You guys go. Remind me what we want to do to them. They won't accept it yet. Want to chuck Bohemia out of them. What Tyrol? Ah, yes, I can chuck Tyrol out as well. There goes Prague. Their army got beat up again. Where are they going now? They shouldn't have many places they can retreat to. Let's move an army down each way here. Ooh, I'm so close. And there should be a stack bike. Yep. Now we're just cleaning up. I do believe once we have Tyrol, we'll have all their forts. They'll probably give us whatever we want at that point. Boom, big stack wipe. Can you just take this, please? There we go. Okay, Austria. Let's go, let's clear off her and go through everything. You're going to release Bohemia, you're going to release Tyrol. Um, give provinces back to Styria. You won't give all of them. In which case, Graz makes the sense, most sense to leave. And then you need to pay me for my expenses from this war. There we go, much better. Are we looking at 35 member states? That's gone down quite a bit. What's been happening? Everyone else, go home. Uh, one of them only has 25,000 men, don't they? Because I didn't reattach the... What's image it goes? You, give me Holland. Hey, okay. I can have Holland. Actually, if I can have Holland, then you should be able to release Utrecht. God damn it. Wait, why's war score just dropped? You go to Holland. Can't 
Commonwealth, you figured out how to die yet? I need um, my guy sat on your throne. Okay, they will release Utrecht now. Cool. Um... That will be the main thing. They have territory over in the Caribbean, which we will need at some point. Take some war reps, take all their money. There we go. And we can spend this now. Um, let's try and become the Pope again. Yes, Malwa. You have a piece of territory I would like. He says no, because he's huge. What's his force limit? God, I'm not even the... Ming and Ottomans both have higher force limits than me. That's disgusting. Malwa. He only has 40, 50,000 men. He should give me what I want. I could easily send some armies over there to kill him. Because he's behind on tech as well. He's quite a few mil techs behind me. Okay. Well, you come down here. I'm going to join these guys that were the rebel busters down here. And turn it um, turn all of these different parts as a whole into another proper army. Point zero two. Okay, what we can do now, though, is have a quick look. Voting is fine. If we go through now, we should be able to get enough points to pass a reform. So let's spend a little bit of time doing that. I wish when you did this, it automatically updated the map so that you could see the provinces you've added. The fact it doesn't update the map, map automatically is quite irritating. Why can't I add this? Must be Christian. Okay, it's um, one of my Sunni provinces. And across the waters, let's add the islands. Uh, 23, we're about halfway. Let's get Naples up in there. And let's not forget about Little Malta. There we go. Up to the British Isles. Let's add Ireland. Do the most exciting part of gameplay. And fix the slight HRE border go hit. Almost there. 50. And pass a reform. Excellent. The next one disallows internal HRE wars. Once you have that one, you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to revoke the privilege here. Nothing, because nothing can really stop you at that point. Okay, so we still have all of these territories down here that need adding. We have more of Britain we need to eat. I'm just trying to think, what would, what should be our next step? I would maybe we should just eat the Italian miners here. Let's have a look at the map mode. We can eat Mantua. There's Venice that can go. Then we can take this province off Austria and add that. And we can also start eating the Papal States, Siena, little places like that. Failing that, we could go north into Scandinavia. Uh, we need to finish off the Brits. What's your total war score, Bryn? 
71. Okay, we can full annex Britain in the next war. So we should probably start getting a claim on him. Oh, we should also send our colonists back over here. Which ones are being done? You're being done. And you're being done. Oh, wow. British Mexico is losing a war to the Aztecs. That's amazing. Um, do we still have a claim on this? We do. Ivory Coast is mine. Excellent. Next, Wadia. Let's start making a claim so we can take Wadia. Or however you say that. And do I want to work... Oh, there's so much development here. Next year, we do have a full year. We'll take a... Some new techs. Probably want to stop spending my mail points on ideas now as well. Wuzberg. Put it back. He says no. That's something we should look at. We should look at... One, I'm going to promote Portuguese. And two, we need to see... What do we have CBs on? Because we can attack some of these people and force them to spit out territories. Mantua. You would become my vassal, actually. We could just vassalize Mantua. I haven't done much vassalizing. Uh, improving relation. We could certainly get him to a high enough opinion of us. Hmm, where to go next? Eat the paper state. The Ottoman, the Ottomans are allied to Malwa now. That's interesting. That'll be why Malwa um, wouldn't agree to me giving them uh, them giving me territory. Who are your other allies? Just the Ottomans. The Ottomans who are on the same mill tech as me have a smaller army but a larger force limit. They're also short on manpower and using mercenaries. I currently have six mercenaries. That's something we should sort out. Okay. So they're gone. Now, we have one too many... Let's check one of these. 26, 6, 16. So, don't need one of these. Don't need one of these. They can go. And then you need six cannons. Cool, and that's still within force limit, and that gives us five armies. Next, let's have a look at the navy. Because we also have some things from Savoy. Oh yeah, these are the light ships that are supposed to be exploring. Let's bring them up here and upgrade them. We need to upgrade our fleet. Uh, Gaelic. Oh, they're the one. They're going to be up here, aren't they? Like here. Hmm. Alright, I'm just thinking what the best strategy would be from here. Probably deleting some of my forts, that'd be a good start. This level 2 fort is unnecessary, so we'll make it a level 6 one. Then it will do its work. These are all level 4, aren't they? We could spend some money on them, but first I should look at... Okay, all my fleets together... Oh, it's not actually going to cost that much to fully upgrade them. Cool. In which case, let's spend some money on forts, shall we? Having good forts is important. Especially when you have a line of them down your territory. How much money do I currently make? I'm making 82 with all my forts and armies turned on. But I think we're good. Money wise. And there we go. Rabant, put it back. Leave Utrecht alone.
Maybe I should actually look for even more money next by taking provinces off of the Papal State so I have better control of Genoa. We're only 90 ducats in Genoa now. So that is just, only just, our biggest source of income. The Genoan trade node. Okay, let's do some quick sharp wars, shall we? Where we find people we actually have CBs on. And then have them spit out. No, I do have a CB on Brunswick. Why is it saying I don't? Lying to me. Unless it's like just expired and hasn't all updated properly yet. Okay, not Brunswick. Austria have just fought Wurzburg. I have an alliance with Wurzburg. <laughs> okay. Won't attack them then. And you insulted me. Wondering how I could possibly break the alliance between Denmark and the Commonwealth. I would like to have, I'd like to not attack the Commonwealth yet, because that would break our royal marriage, and that would stop me claiming his throne when the time comes. God, we're 70. Louis the Eleventh has done very well. Although his son, Charles, does have better points than he does, so he may have to, abd have to abdicate soon. He's not bad though, so I'm not going to force him to do it, I guess. Anything good here? Probably not. Nope. Oh well. More in the next episode, because that's going to be all for today. I thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you again tomorrow. In the meantime, have a good day. Bye-bye.